Hi everyone, this is David and in this video I'll show you how to copy and use subtitle time codes from one subtitle to another uh, and this is an answer video uh, is how the question goes uh, it's from Ali how, how are you doing? I would like to ask one thing regarding your video can you please respond? Uh, basically I'm creating subtitles from scratch and created Arabic subtitle for his movie so he has the SRT file for the Urdu subtitle which was also generated using a free tool. Now, I want to copy time codes from the Arabic subtitle and paste those in the Urdu subtitle. I was looking at all your videos and tested point sync option. I think that option only doing start and end points, CTC. Uh, the subtitles in between are adjusted with random time codes. Now, I'm going to answer uh, that particular question uh, 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 with, with uh, I've got some subtitles here, video, reference video, and a subtitle that I'm assuming would be of a different language. Uh, but a point I'd like us all to note is that different languages have kind of like a different length because of maybe a word said in one language might be shorter or even longer. So the time codes might be affected. And although I'm answering that question, I just wanted yeah, everybody to know that. So I'm going to open subtitle edit and then open video file, open that particular video. And then in that particular, in this particular case, open the subtitle with the correct time codes. And with uh, Ali's question, his Arabic has the good time codes. Now, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to uh, get these time codes and export them. So I'm going to go to file, export, and then go to export custom text format down here click on that and then from here you probably have subrip and micro dvd now if you only have these uh, what you can do is you can click on new and from new call it maybe time codes template and once you call it that the only thing you need to remove from this section is the text just remove that and you'll see that from the preview you only have the number and the time code so actually if, even if you want to adjust the time codes then you'd remove the number but the number might be important uh, depending on what you're working on so i'm going to leave the number on and then click ok and then click us save us let's call this time code uh, template uh, template sorry so click on save and we have our time code template next up i'm going to open another instance of subtitle edit and in this one, I'll just start a new one. And you can see uh, the correct one is behind here. I'm going to open the video that we have here and then go to file, open keep video and this particular subtitle. Uh, and what you'll notice is that the subtitle begins here. And if I play this video in this tutorial, I'll show you how to add text behind. A so the video begins somewhere here, but the subtitles are only visible from around the third second. Pass on. So in the case of Ali, uh, the subtitles could actually even be beginning here, but he just needs to copy and uh, replace the time code. So for this one begins at the third second, ATC and so on and so forth. Now, the synchronization using visual sync and point sync or point sync uh, via other subtitle, this probably might work. Actually, this might actually work. Uh, but for this one, because we want to use the time codes for the subtitle he already has, then I'm going to use the time codes I've just exported. Now, to import, I'll go to File, Import, Time Codes. Super handy. Click on that. And then I just want you guys to look at this magic that is going to happen here. Click on the time code template and then click on Open. What happens is that the time codes, you can actually see the subtitles have shifted to correspond to this particular uh, subtitle from the correct version. So in Ali's case, the Arabic one, now uh, the time codes look uh, like the one uh, he wants to be in the Urdu subtitle. So uh, it's kind of that easy if that is what you're looking at. Uh, but remember that the subtitles might be a little bit different uh, because of uh, change in meaning uh, from different words, etc. Some might be longer, some shorter. So you'll need to do some adjustments, maybe with the timing and so on and so forth. But that is how you can copy and use subtitle time codes from one subtitle.
to another this is an answer video thanks for watching and thanks ali for asking until next time stay safe and never stop learning thanks for watching